welcome to pro lessons technology youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you a school second a school management system or you better call it school accounting system i will start by registering the students with an excel file i look for the excel file I submit Excel file. Okay. Having submitted the Excel file, from here you can see you can update and delete students by class. From here you can promote students. That is for the admin part. Also, at the admin part, you can back up your data. Then, let's go to the main feature which is the school accounting part so these are the fee management this is the fee management form these are the list of fees that can be paid by session and term i select a session and the term and it and payment dates then on the left side are the list of all the students that have been added to the database on this list are the banks through which they make their payments so let me assume yeah, this student is paying for tuition he's paying through fcmb bank already the amount of tuition is sixty five thousand. but let me say the student let's say the student is, pay, is paying a partial payment of fifty thousand. i will select that this is a partial payment the balance remaining is here i do submit having submitted since this is not the only fee to be paid for the term let me assume he is paying for boss one already the payment is fifteen thousand. he's paying in full so i submit this is for this student i go to another student this one has already I go to another student and select this one is paying through fidelity bank the tuition fee let's say she made a complete payment for tuition fee but her bank payment for bus one she didn't make a complete payment so i select partial payment i submit from this view payment details You can view all the all the fully paid dues. All the people that are fully paid. These two people are fully paid. You can see their balances are zero. In the class, this for a class. You can view for all the students at once in the school. You can view debtors, people that are owing. Look at these people. Look at what they are owing. This one is owing 50,000. This one is owing 30,000. You can view the debtors. This one is all the debtors in a school. You can view all the debtors in the class. You can view people that have not paid at all. Look at all these people. They, have, they are yet to pay. In the same way, you can view per fees. Who has paid for his tuition? Let's see all the people that have paid for their tuition. Fully paid for tuition. You see this all these people have fully paid tuition and you can do so for other fees then let me see fee payment summary from here i can view payments by class and time for this particular fee this is all the fees paid for tuition by time class you can view from a certain date to a certain date Let's say people that paid from between 12th of April to 20th of April. I can view. These are the two people that paid within these dates. And so you can view for other fees. Bus fee. Tuition fee. You can view. And it will drop down and show you the total balance and total payment made. 
you can view per session all the payments made in the session you can view all the payment made by term and session you can view payment made by the class by a particular class and session and class term and session this is for the fee payments when i go back there i can run fee analysis from here from here you can see the number of students that have paid for tuition this is the total realizable amount this is the actual amount to be realized if all the students if you have 50 students and all of them paid 65,000 that is tuition fee 60 times 65,000 will be the realizable amount but this is the number of students that pay this is the amount realized from payment this is the actual amount realized this is the balance this is the number of unpaid students 1,293 1, are yet to pay and this is the unpaid fee balance you can see your balance here which is subtracting from the realizable amount you can see the number of the amount you are yet to realize and after doing this you can, after running this analysis you can save i've saved this analysis for this term you can do it termly you can do it by month you will update and run the analysis okay another feature that i'm going to show you is the account summary how much was gotten from all the fees paid through A certain bank that's a heritage bank or UBE how much was gotten from all the fees paid no amount was gotten from this bank so you can select the actual bank any of the banks here and you can see the actual amount gotten the opening balance that is the amount you have in the bank already the total income of total of income from fees you can see the total paid fee balance total of other incomes that is the incomes you got from other places and the total expenses made after that you this will give you the amount you have after total income that is all the incomes and school income money from school fees and total income subtract you subtract the total expenses you've made and you can get the balance the cash you have at hand in this school by the banks so this for this session from this manager account this is where you define the fees the kind of fees to be paid if there are other incomes you got from certain banks you set them here and submit and expenses too you go from other banks you set them here and submit this is for this then let's go over to school account reports you can generate a report for all the expenses made from certain date to certain date through certain bank you can generate the reports if there is any reports you can generate the expenses reports You can generate the income reports, income and expenses reports. You can generate all the fee paid, all the receipts for the students, and you print them. All the fees paid. Look at this person's receipts, Abochi Namera John. Look at this second person's receipts. Look at this third person's receipts. Look at the fourth person's. From here, you can print all their receipts once and for all. You can print receipt by a particular student. This is for ABO. You can print for others. Then, this is for the school receipts. Then let's look at students' accounts. In certain schools, students deposit their money with a guardian and they make transaction from it they, they 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 withdraw money from the from the amount deposited by the guardian 